Holy shit I have not made a video in forever. So what have I been doing you ask? Just kidding. Overwatch is basically the only game I play now, and many years from now, I'm bound to at least remember its beginning days as some of the best I've ever spent playing a video game. Also Tracer's ass is really re- Anyways if you don't have Overwatch you probably have a life, and if you like your life the way it is, for the love of god don't buy this game. Overwatch is a black hole, which will suck all your time, love for other things and motivation to do anything else away from you. The good news is I did not have a life to start with. <laughs> Anyways enough with my life story. Today I'm going to be talking about the big patch coming for Overwatch. The public test realm version seems to be 1.0.5, instead of the normal client's 1.0.4. One big change is a call out for Widowmaker's ultimate ability, Wallhack, I mean infrared vision, because apparently infrared waves can pass through goddamn solid walls now. <laughs> Widowmaker's ultimate call out used to sound like this to the enemy team. But now, it sounds like this. Personne n'échappe à mon regard. Finally, we all know when we're being spotted by that purple bitch and her entire team. And if you are wondering, no this quiet ultimate call out horse shit has not been fixed yet for Hanzo's wolf skin. Or at least it was not mentioned in the patch notes. But this patch does not end there, because holy shit we are finally getting a competitive play. Now all the people who are fed up with the quick play bogus can go and play seriously in competitive, myself included. To participate in the competitive play of Overwatch, you must be at least level 25. Before you can start, you have to play a total of 10 placement rounds. These placement rounds will determine your initial skill level, and thus determine the skill of players you get to play with. Basically you do your worst so you get to play with people who have no idea what they are doing, and get easy points as you destroy the bad players, right off the bat. Just kidding, because the rewards you get. A special currency, are based off of the final rank you achieve in the season. The higher rank you are, the more currency you will get. But the question is, what is this special currency used for? If you think I somehow managed to cobble together enough skill to photoshop this, you are dead wrong. Yes, Blizzard has added golden weapons to Overwatch. Each one costs a total of 300 of the currency you earn from the competitive play. The good news is since the currency earned is based off your rank instead of your performance in one character, people will actually care about winning. No, you do not have to play Hanzo to get the golden bow. Instead, you play Lucio now so you can heal your team and win, get more currency at the end of the season because you won, and then buy your stupid ass golden bow. But 24, you think? If more wins is equal to higher rank, and a higher rank means more currency, I will just leave losses before the match ends, so it won't count against me. Surprise, motherfucker! Yes, that is right. Blizzard can ban you for the entire season of competitive if you leave repeatedly. Which is fucking awesome. Thank you Blizzard. Aside from that, there's not much else major in this patch. The prefer slash avoid player option has been removed. Because instead of using it to avoid the trolls that can infest matches, people used it to avoid players who were really good. This left the good players who had been avoided by many people out to dry, putting them into matches that were often against the lower skilled players who were not smart enough to abuse this system and avoid players who were way better than them. The rest of the patch are some bug fixes, added social options at the start and end of matches, and finally performance plus optimization improvements. Thanks for watching Overwatch TLDR, enjoy this cringy picture of this guy pointing at you.